What's up, YouTube? This video is brought to you by Weebull. If you'd like to help out the channel and get some free stock, make sure you check out my link below. Hey, I'm Chris Sane, and today's video is about stocks to sell. Listen, guys, it's the end of the week, and so I got some guidance for you so we can be prepared for next week. But listen, if I helped you in any way, whether I was help you make some money or give you a new perspective on the stock market, please make sure you like and subscribe and join us on the journey. Without further ado, let's take a look at my portfolio. Okay, guys, another week is in the books. Right now, we're currently sitting at above a little bit over 1% on the day. That is equivalent of around $2,200, guys. Hey, it was a wild day. It was a wild week, if you will, okay? And so, listen, that is to be expected when you are an investor inside the stock market, okay? So, again, a learn to embrace the ebbs and flows of the market, a learn to take advantage of opportunities when they present themselves. You guys know each and every week, unlike anybody else on YouTube, when it comes to being transparent, I gotta walk you down through there, okay? So listen guys, let's look at my one week, okay? On the week guys, from Friday to Friday, we are down a little bit over 1%, so we're actually down $2,200 on the week, okay? So we had some up days, we started the week off very strong. We finished the week, up but throughout the week it was a little again a little shaky let's go out and look a month down six hundred and ninety dollars and so listen there's still a lot of work to be done but again a lot you guys can glean from this type of week in the stock market you should see now firsthand how bond yields and inflation affects your plays okay anytime your plays were down that has something to do with the bond yields and things like that Let's get to what we need to be selling. Number one on the list that needs to be sold when it reaches the price target of $2.30 is ticker symbol ZOM, okay? Again, this is just me looking out for you guys. Yes, we can revisit this play at a later time again, but for right now, follow the guidance because I don't want anybody that rocks with me to get burned, okay? Or listen to this, if you guys choose to stay in this, I don't wanna hear anything come my way just know you're investing on your own at that point because this is a recommendation to step out of this for the time being, okay? So we can allow ourselves the chance to reassess this play, but more importantly, assess the character of the leaders of this company. In addition to that, guys, next I need you guys to go through all of your easy money plays. Matter of fact, tomorrow morning, I'm gonna hit you guys with some easy money plays, but for the ones that you have been in one or two weeks, Please go right now as your homework assignment. Go look through your portfolio. Look at their performance. Are they up? Are they down? Are you losing money? Are you making money, okay? You are the CEO of your portfolio, so you gotta make a decision, okay? Are you up between the 50%? If you are, take profits. Are you down five to 10%? If you are, sell. Follow the principles, guys, because I wanna minimize your loss when you rock with me, guys. So you have to make sure that you're listening and following the steps so that you can make sure that you are efficient as possible on your journey in the stock market, all right? Up next, we have our word of the day and our word of the day is falling knife. Listen guys, sometimes in the stock market, you will have a play that just falls from grace and it just tumbles and tumbles and tumble. Be sure that you allow that play to hit the ground versus you trying to catch a falling knife, okay? Just imagine from a vivid perspective what a falling knife would do if you stick your hand out. It'll slice you all up. Allow a plate to find its bottom before you try to go get in your position established just so you can, again, have a chance to be successful in that play. Listen, guys, avoid falling knives at all costs, but also understand that you might have to peek at the technical so that you can see where not only resistance is at, but where a support level is at as well. So listen, our word for the day is falling knife. You're gonna have a few of those that take place in this market that we're in, which is why I'm pointing this out to you in the first place. Up next, guys, we have our question of the day, and our question of the day comes from Hit Zone Music LA. But when you take from other plays, doesn't the average price increase from those plays we pull from? Hit Zone, this is a phenomenal, again, phraseology or comment, okay? Listen, guys, he's making reference to me telling you guys if you have ran out of dry powder, if you bought the dip as much as you can buy the dip, 
sometimes it's okay to pull from another play okay today class is in session so make sure you lock into this okay i'm going to teach you guys matter of fact i'm going to show you guys something because you can't read this in a book and nobody will tell you this okay now this for real is a million dollars worth of game so this is what i want you to do you see i got to play tattoo chef up here as my example okay if you are out of money if you no ha longer have any dry powder left if you bought the dip as much as you can buy the dip please consider this strategy right here now take a look at my portfolio as you can see i have 445 shares of tattoo chef $19.83 is my average cost and I have a total of $9,000 in this play. Now listen guys, I often tell you, a fully built position for me is $5,000. I never put more than $5,000 in a play. However, you can sometimes be overweight in a play or overload a play. Why? For reasons like this. When you want to buy the dip but you have ran out of money, with a play like this, I've loaded all the money because this play was at a great valuation. It was at an attractive price, so I loaded tons and tons of money in it, okay? I don't need $9,000 in Tattoo Chef. I'm okay hitting a double up, the triple, and the quadruple off of $5,000 in this play. However, guys, right now, if I wanted to, if I was per se out of money and I wanted to continue buying a dip and I just couldn't find myself to be, get content like I teach and coach you guys to be learn to be content when you buy the dip i could pull 2500 from this i can pull 4000 from this total and still have this play fully built out and then go shopping whether for one play or spread 4000 out around two plays just to get a small position established this is how you never impact your average cost my average cost won't change from this my average cost will still be 1983 i um, will still always dominate every stock in the stock market include tattoo chef and then when this shoots off to 38 dollars and beyond it's another double up without me ever impacting my play this is some game you're not going to get nowhere not on youtube and definitely not in a book or in school not harvard not mit not anywhere take advantage of this guys apply this if you need to in the future and overload your play so that you can always come back to it if push comes to shove and if you run out of money. Listen guys, I hope that illustration was helpful. If you guys have questions or comments, leave them below. I'll grab them and add them to my next video. Listen, I make videos like this every day, so if you like this one, make sure you check out the next one. Remember, most people see the end result. Very few consider the journey. Do me a favor. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys grab some free stock views in my link below, and I'll see you all in the next one.